Hey guys, uh, so before I get into the video real quick, I just want to say uh, to uh, people who are my regular, like the couple of regular viewers that I have and regular commenters, um, I haven't been responding to a lot of comments lately and it's because I've been having trouble doing so. It has something to do with my account itself, I believe, my YouTube account, because uh, I can't respond on either my phone or my laptop. I don't know what the problem is, but it just seems to be totally random. But there's just, for some reason, I can't respond to certain comments on, on just my channel. I, I really don't get it, but I'm trying to figure it out. Um, but please bear with me because I don't want people to feel like they, you know, they've been watching and, and, and they take the time to, to view my content and leave some feedback and then I can't even go back and forth with them. I, I you know, I hope they don't think I'm being rude or something like that. Um, it's just a technical difficulty I'm going through right now and I'm going to fix it soon, I promise. Uh, but on to the video. So, uh, formulating new habits, um, you know, anybody who's ever uh, uh, tried to work out or diet, which is almost everybody at some point in their life tries it, and they want to get in the habit of doing it, and it fails, and it's for lots of different reasons, but um, the three things that, uh, or at least according to a book that I read that I, I felt, I feel it's a very good book and it, it helped me out in a lot of ways and I recommend it to you too as well if you'd like to read it. It's called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Uh, I can't remember the author's name off the top of my head, but that is the name of the book and it's a really good read and I remember reading the three things that you need to uh, form, formulate a new habit is you need to have knowledge of what it is you want to do, the skill to do it, and then I... Uh, uh, you need to uh, want to do it, okay? So then by that model, I think we can see the reason why most people fail to form new habits, uh, or at least when it comes to uh, diet and exercise. Now, uh, you, you need the knowledge to diet and exercise, okay? So you read about a diet and an exercise program, now you have the knowledge. Then the skill to do it, okay? The skill of dieting, it's the actual physical skill of doing it, you're just eating food, it's something you've always done. And then uh, the physical sk the skill of exercising, uh, most people have have that skill. They can go and run on a treadmill or you know lift some dumbbells. Most people have at least basic rudimentary exercise skills. Um, so then, by that model, the reason why it fails, those new habits fails, because they don't. You would say then, by that model, is because they don't really want to do it. Now that's uh, a whole other video for another time, but that is a very big reason why most people don't hit any goals or they fail to achieve uh, any goal, or certainly weight loss goals, any fitness goals, is because they don't really want to do it. You know, a lot of people say they want to lose weight, they want to get into shape, but you don't really want to do it. Um, again, another video for another time. Uh, but something that I've come across, uh, which may be the real reason why it's so hard to formulate uh, habits, why people may have trouble formulating habits, is because they aren't actually focusing on what it is that they really want, okay? Now, bear with me for a second here. Um, when you, when people first start out and they say, well, I want to start, I really want to get in the habit of exercising more and, and eating better. And uh, when you first start out, it's nobody wants to exercise and, and diet. You don't really want to do that just for the sake of itself. You don't want to just exercise and diet. What you really want is to lose weight or to feel better, to get into better shape, as a lot of people put it. Um, so that's what you really want. So you need to gain the skills and the knowledge of losing weight or whatever fitness goal it is that you have. Um, so when you really gain the skill, the knowledge and the skills of how to do that and then you're seeing those results and, and that is what you want, it will actually be pretty easy for most people to formulate that habit. Um, but when they just get into the habit of, or they try to get in the habit of, I want to exercise and eat better, when really their end goal is losing weight and then, okay, you're just exercising a little better and you're eating better or what you think is better, but you're not really losing weight, then... It's, you don't really want to exercise and diet, so you're not going to, you'd be crazy to keep doing that. You're not going to keep that as a habit. So when you're trying to formulate a new habit, or when you think you need to get into this habit, A, B, or C, whatever it is, well, think about what's really behind it and what you really want to do, and then, and then you're going to need to formulate different kinds of habits to bring that into your life. But it'll begin to make more sense. Uh, just another quick example, um, like a lot of people try to get into the habit of waking up early, and just getting in the habit of waking up early just for the sake of waking up early, I mean, it's insane. Like, who wants to do that? I mean, maybe there are some people that want to do that, but I think most of us can agree that it's like, who wants to get up early just for the sake of getting up early? But most people want to get in the habit of, of waking up early if you look into it more. It's because, well, I want to get up earlier. I want to be more productive and get more things done in the morning. Uh, maybe you just want to get up earlier before work so you can get, get things done before work to have an easier day. Whatever it is. So you figure out what it is that you really want and you focus on that and then you'll see the habits that you need to, uh, to accomplish that. Then you gain the skills and the knowledge of formulating how to actually do those habits. But as long as you're focusing on that end goal, 
those habits, and it's something you do really want, those habits should come quite easily. Um, so anyway, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, Informed Fitness.